How to Create a Multi-Axis Line Chart in Google Sheets Multi-Axis Line Chart Data Requirements You need between 0 to 1 column of categorical data to create a multi-axis line chart. Categorical Data Definition It describes a characteristic or a category of data. It takes on values that are names or labels. Categorical data is also called qualitative data. You need between 1 to 10 columns of numerical data to create a multi-axis line chart. Numerical data definition. It is in the form of numbers and is numeric in nature. It can be counted or measured and can be arranged in a logical order. Numerical data is also called quantitative data. In this video, we will construct a multi-axis line chart with four data columns as follows. One column containing categorical data. Three columns containing numerical data. Important, multi-axis line chart will only accept data in columns as shown in the image on the left. Click on the extensions menu. Install Chart Expo add-on. Enhance your charting experience with advanced charts. An add-on is software that adds new features into Google Sheets. How to install Chart Expo video is available in iCard located in top right corner. Video link is also provided in the description below, please click on more. Once the Chart Expo add-on is installed, it should display an extensions menu. Click on the Charts, Graphs and Visualizations by Chart Expo. Click on Open Sub-Menu. Click on the Add New Chart button. Search for Multi-Axis Line Chart. Then select it. Select the sheet holding your data from Sheet Name drop-down. Note, Header Row checkbox is checked because data contains header row. Select metric equals web traffic. Select metric equals CPL in dollar. Select metric equals number of sales. Select dimension equals months. You can set row range using the slider, or manually set value in start row and end row text boxes. Currently, we will select all rows. When all required selections have been made, the Create Chart button will become active. Click on the Create Chart button. Multi-axis line chart is created successfully. Click on the Edit Chart button. Click on the Chart Header pen to edit the properties. Then enter the header text. Make sure you have turned on Show Property before you click the Apply button. Click on the Chart Settings to change the chart settings. Click on the Data Representation to change the component. Click on the Chart Settings to change the chart settings. Click on the Axis Orientation Properties. You can change the order of axes. You can reset the properties. Click on the Y Axis Properties to change the properties. Click on the Tick section to change the precision. Click on the Label section to prep end dollar as a prefix to the numbers. Click on the Line Properties to change the properties. Click on the Dot section. You can hide or show the dot. Click on the Line section to change the line type and width. Click on the Line Properties to change the properties. 
Click on the Average Line section to hide or show the average line. Click on the Legend Properties pen to change the legend. You can show the legend. Click on the Box section to change the box shape type. Click on the Legend Properties pen to edit the box color. Similarly, you can change the color and shape type for other axes. Click on the Save button. Click on the Export button to export chart in JPG, PNG, SVG, or PDF. Click on the Add Chart to Sheet button to add chart image in Sheet. We appreciate your business. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe our channel.